Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and welcome to, I can't believe I'm doing this, but Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Um, right off the bat, we got lots to discuss here. Um, first thing, um, as you can see, what I'm going to do here is I'm putting in Help Me as my name. Um, if you do that, you start the game with 10 lives as opposed to whatever it is, 3, I think. Um, you can all discuss uh, whether or not, you know, that's considered cheating or not. Very epic first shot of uh, Trevor uh, in front of the church, the cross. Um, a quick note about this game um, is that it is you know a sequel, but it's technically a prequel. Um, it takes place um, chronologically before the first Castlevania game. Uh, this is not Simon Belmont that you're playing as, it's Trevor Belmont. Um, that's basically just a way of, you know, trying to make sense out of the... F I mean, Simon technically dies at the end of the second game, so if you want to keep the series going, that means you've got to, like, do a prequel uh, instead of a sequel. You know, it, it, it kind of speaks volumes to me about how, um, you know, people behind uh, video games um, try to at least, you know, make sense of what's going on um, and, and trying to stick to some kind of... Storyline. I, I mean, I, I'm impressed by it. I think it shows some kind of dedication, rather than just putting out yet another, you know, whatever game it may be. In this case, Castlevania, and saying, "Well, it doesn't matter what happened in the last one. Uh, just here's another game." You know, they actually try to explain, you know, what it is. I mean, let's face it. This is the exact same sprite of Simon Belmont, but he's tr it's Trevor. You know, so it's things like that. Um, Another thing I need to say right off the bat is that this might not be a, a complete playthrough. Um, uh, this game, anyone who has played it knows what I'm talking about. It is a pain in the ass and a half. Um, it is extremely difficult. This first level is a piece of cake, just like in the first Castlevania. Uh, makes you think that it's not going to be that bad. And then the difficulty just keeps increasing and increasing. Um, there's not many games that make me really want to pull my hair out, uh, so to speak, um, this is definitely one of them. So if you're looking for a complete playthrough, um, you know, by the time that these videos are all up, take a look, see if um, there's an actual ending video, you know, a final video, because uh, if that's what you're looking for, you might not find it here. Um, I don't recall beating this game at all, ever. Um, it's such a pain in the ass. Um, it's not often that I break uh, while playing a game, but you might see it happen here. You just might see it happen. Um, so anyway, um, as you can see by now, um, this game plays very um, it, almost identically to the first Castlevania. Uh, Castlevania 2 was a bit of a uh, deviation from the formula, and uh, people weren't too thrilled with it, and so they decided for the third installment there's a food in that wall if you want it, but um, I, I don't need it right now. Um, my, what, my voice sounds kind of weird right now. Why? I, I guess I say that a lot. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this first level is a piece of cake. Um, you can fly through it. Pretty much I can do it without even taking a hit. Um, but that's no huge feat by any means. I mean, that's nothing to write home about. You know, I go, I can get through the first level of Castlevania 3 without taking a hit. And I still might, you know, we're not there yet. Um, the levels can be lengthy. Um, for an introductory stage, this this goes on for a little while. Um, that candle there has a dagger in it, that's why I'm passing it up. Ideally, just like in the first game, you ideally you want to hang on to the holy water. Because um, we're going to show uh, why right here. It just obliterates bosses. Um, as soon as I get him over here on my side, just bam, 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 bam. Holy water, whip combo, he's gone. First level, no hits. Flawless level, right? So, piece of cake, right? Right? Wrong! This game is going to drive you fucking insane, I guarantee it. Um, another aspect of this game is um, that there's multiple paths that you can take. There's a so-called easy path and a, and a hard path. I'm going to try and show as many as possible. Here's the first junction. Until then, uh, everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll see you next time for more of Castlevania 3.